I'll be showing eight new features between Microsoft Teams and Outlook. Both of these tools were designed for communication and collaboration, so the integration is even more important. So let's get started. The first new feature is Meet Now integrated directly into Outlook Desktop. I'm here in Outlook for Office 365 and I'm in my calendar and you're going to see on the home tab here that there is a Meet Now button. If I click this, it will automatically launch me into the Meet Now experience in Teams. I can join now and now I can invite other people, copy Meet link, add participants, all the other ways you might let people join a Teams meeting. The second new feature is accessing meeting options right from your Outlook Teams meeting. So I'm going to go to the new items here and drop this down and we'll choose new Teams meeting. Now it's turned it into a Teams meeting and you're going to see right here there's this settings button. If I drop this down, I can choose meeting options. This loads the Teams meeting options right here in Outlook so I don't have to shell out to a browser. So I can have all my bypassing lobby options and I can have who can present. Maybe it's just going to be me as the presenter. Even the new meeting chat enablement is here, enabled, disabled. So I'll click save and save my meeting options and close. The third new feature is setting a default Teams meeting for any meeting that you create in Outlook Desktop with Office 365. Let's go to the File menu, and I'll go down in the lower left and choose Options. Now I'm going to choose Calendar right here, and then we're going to go and tick the box for Add Online Meeting to All Meetings. So if I check this, now when I create a new meeting in Outlook, it'll automatically set it to be a Teams meeting. Let's click OK. Now I'm going to go here and drop down new items and I'll just choose meeting. And you can see it automatically made it into a Teams meeting. I don't have to remember to click that button every time. It'll just happen automatically. The fourth new feature is the ability to drag Outlook attachments directly into Teams files. So I have Outlook here and I have my Teams files here. And here is an Amazon Rainforest Word document. I'm going to click and drag that right over to here and drop. And it's going to upload that directly. So it's uploading it right here. You can see it just uploaded it. And there is my Amazon Rainforest document. So just drag drop from Outlook attachments right into files and Teams. Really easy. The fifth new feature is responding to a Teams message directly in Outlook for the web. So there's a message from Paul here in Outlook for the web, and I'm going to select it. Now, instead of going into Teams and responding to that message, I'm just going to drop the reply here, and I can enter the text. So I can say, hey, Paul, that's a great idea, and click send. That sends the message directly back into Teams. I don't have to leave Outlook for the web and I can keep in context of what I'm already doing. The sixth feature is turning on Teams meetings by default for every meeting you create in Outlook for the web. I'm in Outlook for the web and I'm going to go in the upper right and click the gear. Now at the bottom there's this view all Outlook settings. Click that. Now you'll go to calendar right here and then choose events and invitations. There's a checkbox. Let's check it. Add online meeting to all meetings. Hit save. And now close the dialog. Now we're going to go to our calendar here. Open up new event in the upper left. And let's give it a title that the Teams meeting doesn't enable until you actually add an attendee. So I'm going to add an attendee here. And now this flips on by default. So it's automatically a Teams meeting. I don't ever have to remember again to flip that switch. Let's hit send. And there my Teams meeting is ready to go. The seventh feature is launching Teams right here from Outlook. Now there's a chat here. If I click this, it's going to launch me right into Teams. That's a small feature, but it's really handy. The eighth and final new feature is more Teams integration directly into your different Outlook web views. So for example, I've got a meeting coming up in five minutes as a team meeting. If I click this, you'll see I can join right from within Outlook. So I click join and I'm ready to go right in. Another way to join easy, if I go to the calendar, and I have a meeting right here. When I click, I can join right from there. Or if I drop down this to-do pane for my day, I open it up in the calendar. There's also a way to join. So there's lots of ways to make it really fast to join a Teams meeting right from Outlook Web. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.